Hi, I'm Max from Mario Plugin. This is a tutorial on how to make a virtual camera setup for 3ds Max using the HTC Vive. Now I attach the Vive tracker to an Android tablet, but you could also use the Vive controller or you could use Oculus Rift. I'm using the VCAT, the Virtual Camera and Tracker plugin. When you purchase VCAT, you receive the following confirmation email containing your username and password. Go to the download link and use your username and password to download VCAT. Download the plugin to your 3ds Max plugin folder. In this case, this would be C Program Files Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 plugins. Now, the next time you start 3ds Max, the plugin will be loaded automatically and a new menu item will appear. Before I start VCAT, let me quickly create a demo scene. I'll just be creating two teapots and a camera. The first time you start VCAT, you will be asked for your subscriber ID. Use the username you received in your confirmation email. A new VCAT menu will appear. Here you can attach the currently selected 3ds Max object to various VR devices. In this case, I will select the camera and attach it to the tracker. Now the camera is attached to the tracker and will follow its every move. I can pause the tracking at any time by checking the Pause Tracking checkbox. In order to see the scene from the camera's point of view, select the camera as the active viewport camera. In the box below, you can set up the 3ds Max Scene Scale. By default, scene units are interpreted as meters. You could also set them to feet or yard. You can also rotate and position the scene to fit your real-world environment. To see the scene on the Android tablet, download the VCAT Android app from the same download link. The Android tablet and your PC must be on the same network. The easiest way to achieve this is to turn on your Windows 10 mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Select the Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter from the drop-down menu. A pop-up will appear that will teach you the IP address you need to insert into your VCAT Android app.
By default, the camera is looking through the tracker. If you want to use VCAT looking down on your tablet, you can specify a rotation offset. Now the camera is looking perpendicular. To record your camera motion, just select the camera, turn on Auto Keyframe and press play. You can set the frame rate, time range and recording speed with a 3ds Max time configuration. And that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.